As of today, I've finished most of the parts of my dressing table, so I thought I would do a walkthrough. Now, I've got to warn you, my skincare is nothing elaborate. On a day-to-day -day basis, I will brush my hair, I'll put a little bit of a conditioning oil at the end of it, I'll normally use the rosemary water both for my face and for my hair, and then I'll normally finish off with a lip balm, and that tends to be my daily routine if I'm in a hurry, which is most days, but every so often I like to sit down and have a real pamper, and that's kind of what everything else is for. I think in total it's taken me about a year to get this desk done. I needed to sand off the top, restain it, paint it. I added these little blocks at the back of all the drawers so that no one can just grab the drawer and then pull the whole thing out. And just little tweaks like that, adding details to the mirror. Now, unfortunately to the left, I've got my work desk, which is not a long-term solution for the moment. We're still working on the studio. The plaster just got done today, but realistically it's gonna be another two weeks if not a month before that's finished. My ottoman seat, which is where I originally started putting all my makeup and hair care stuff, has now just been converted into storage for all my old artwork. But everything else is done, so that's what I'm going to show you today. The mirror was one of the easiest DIYs I did. I've got a little light, which I've stuck on the back with a little magnetic disc. So if I need to go and go onto the landing in the middle of the night to check if the little ones are okay, and I don't want to bump into anything, I can take that with me. I actually have three of these, one behind my mirror, one underneath my bedside table, and then one on my husband's side as well. And because they're so small, they recharge just on this tiny solar panel that I have on the kitchen window. So I love this thing and the combination of that with my candle just creates a really nice atmosphere for in the evening when I just want to sit down and do my skincare. Apart from how beautifully it reflects the light, I really like this mirror because I've been able to put my necklaces on each side. So on the left hand side, I have all my silver necklaces. This lovely one was a gift from my husband for Christmas and that one is my favourite. And this one's the oldest necklace that I've got. It's really 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 needs a polish so you can see how little I wear silver because for some reason as soon as I had little ones I just wasn't interested in my silver jewellery anymore so they haven't been worn but one thing that I have finally gotten back into is my perfumes a few years ago I had to quit all my perfumes because I was getting really bad allergic reactions to them but now I seem to have gotten over that which is great but I've switched to these tiny little perfumes which I really prefer because I found that with the big bottles I just never used them enough before they just completely lost their scent but these are such a nice size that for I think I think they were 48 quid or something like that I'm not going to pretend that's cheap but it's a lot cheaper for the amount of variety that you get I got all these different scents and I can keep them on this beautiful little lipstick holder and then on the right, this is where I keep all my gold jewellery that I regularly wear. I have this really nice thick chain piece of jewellery. I think I got that either in a charity shop or in Tesco's, I am not sure. And then this necklace I wear an awful lot, along with this beautiful little crystal gold one, which I really, really like. And then what I call my um, kryptonite necklace, which is also a favourite. And one of the things that I've done behind this, which is something that I managed to get on Facebook Marketplace for a fiver, and these are called bunny tails. I am going to be trying to grow these in the garden, but this is how I raise up the mirror. I just got a small piece of two by four and I carved it. I carved this one on the right much better than the one on the left. And eventually I am going to try and neaten them up and make them look better. But for the moment, I'm happy with it. The biggest drawer in my dressing table, no surprise, is all for skincare. <laughs> and thankfully, I've managed to be a little bit restrained because I could cram a lot more stuff in here, but this is why I wanted to set a drawer for each kind of theme, because otherwise I knew I would just be buying things that I didn't end up using. And one of the most important things I did is I bought seven different cotton black flannels so that every evening I can clean my face with a flannel, throw that in the wash, and then I have a clean one for the next day. And I wanted black because black is my favorite color, and then also it's obvious this is Claire's flannel. Do not use it for anything else. This is only for skincare. And then this little thing here is the most unnecessary thing I could ever have bought, but I love it. It has this lovely little cleaning pad, which you can then take off the massage top, and then it has a few different settings. So setting one is just oscillating very, very lightly. Setting two is oscillating a little bit faster. Setting three, even faster than that. But then setting four is wonderful because the heating pad heats up and if you're doing a facial massage with some oil you can use that at the same time and then there's one more setting so that it's warm and it oscillates at the same time and it's just the most unnecessary luxurious thing and i love it but my kids love it too because they found out that if they turn it on and put it on the floor it does this 
So that's one of the reasons why the battery is always flat. Thankfully they leave everything else alone, like the two cleansing bars that I use. I have the salicylic acid one on the left and then the pears one on the right. The salicylic one is nice, nice if I've had a breakout, but I won't ever apply that to my face because it has apricot scrub in it. I like the pears for every single day. I will not normally clean my face with a bar of soap every single day. It tends to be every other day. I don't find that every day is necessary. And I'll normally use a brush to lather that on. The salicylic acid is more for if I'm having a breakout. And again, I will always apply that with a brush because there is no way any kind of apricot kernel is going in my face ever again. And then in the middle section, I have Q-tips, aloe vera gel, lip balm, spare ones, a little clay spoon for the clay masks that I want to make. The aloe vera gel doesn't get used often. It's more for in the summer if I accidentally get sunburnt, but it's an important part of my skincare kit. This is for the castor oil and it's just a mascara wand which I drilled through the cork so that that way it's protected, I can keep it clean and then I can remove the mascara wand, soap it, clean it up, ble uh, not bleach it, um, boil it just to make sure it's clean and change it out with other ones. And then this is just pure glycerin in my favourite bottle. It has a skull in it so it's amazing and I really love this bottle even though it tends to freak my mum out a bit. But that is just for when I need serious hydration and then I'll use pure glycerin straight on whatever area needs hydration. And I have my favourite sun cream. This one was a gift for my birthday. Normally I wouldn't buy this but I actually love it and I normally keep it downstairs so I can remember to use it because I don't want the thing to go off on me. One of the things I will use every single summer is anti-chaffing gel powder. I won't actually use this for my legs, I use it for my face. If I'm getting really oily, I will just double that on and blend it out and it mattifies everything. This was also a birthday present and again, while it's not something I would have bought, it's actually really nice because I get spots quite often, unfortunately, and this not only makes it heal faster, it stops me from picking it, so I do like these. Then I have a nice cinnamide and zinc serum, a vitamin C serum. This was also a birthday present because this stuff is expensive, but it's so nice and luxurious. So I'm going to be a bit heartbroken when that runs out, but for the moment I'm going to enjoy it. And then on the left hand side I have my jewellery and there is a video all about this on this channel about how I made this so I'm not going to go into that, just I made two trays, on the top I keep all my earrings that I wear regularly, to be honest this section is normally a mess, I tend to take my earrings off in the evening and just throw them on the tray but underneath that's where I keep all my rings, all the smaller little bits and bobs and if I want to have a good look at it I'll just remove that tray, put it up on the dressing table and look at everything else. I did originally have a few more bars that were magnetic and they held the hoops, but I had two, found it was too much. One of those was more than enough to hold all my hoops. And this is a little box from my abuela and this is what keeps all the jewellery that's really sentimental to me and I want to keep safe. So things like my wedding jewellery, that necklace was something that Godathon gave me when we were first dating, so that is all my very very precious jewellery that I don't want anyone to touch, so that stays in the little box underneath when my kids aren't likely to find it. On the right hand side I have all the rings which to be honest I rarely wear but I love them. I call my little poison rings, they just make me happy. And then there's this little arrowhead which I still need to make a necklace out of but I will get there eventually. And then at the very back I have a spare pair of glasses and my sunglasses and these don't tend to get worn that often during the winter obviously but in the summer what tends to happen is they just get relocated to my handbag so that I remember to wear them. And then underneath that, that's where I keep all my makeup. Again, I've done a video all about this so if you want to see how that was made, I'll have a video for that on this channel. And this little part which opens and closes is mainly just to distract my kids and also to just create more space to store makeup. This little section here is all magnetic. So these little cigarette cases hold two different kinds of makeup. This one is all my eyeshadows, as is obvious by the eye that I painted on it. And then this one is more for contour and highlight and blush. So that that way it allows me to cheat and have a little bit more makeup than if I just had one case. But then it also allows it to be a bit more separated because on a day where I just want to do some quick makeup, I'll probably just go for a tiny bit of blush and contour. So I don't want to really take everything else out. And if you're wondering what this is, this is an old tobacco case uh, for a cigar. 
and it looked nicer keeping my powder foundation in that than it did just in a loose plastic bag so that is my temporary solution this is a lovely mirror that I got for second hand because it's second hand and it's from the 1920s it is a bit scuffed up but look at it it's got all these patterns on the back and on the front and doing your makeup with this just feels so nice and luxurious I love it so I was very very happy when I got that one on eBay and then I have my eyeliners on the left my Claire's BB foundation at the very back I tend to have my special effects stuff so this is just a cream makeup palette things like my scar wax so on the rare occasion where I do special effects that is what I'll use and then in here I keep false lashes I do need to draw a little kind of full slash icon on the front but I will get there and then this is one of my pride and joys it's a lovely Lisa Eldridge lipstick that I'd wanted for ages and I finally bought it last birthday and it's just such a natural nice color that I can throw on and then I have this other lipstick from I think Fatal Beauty and this one what I like about it is I can blend it out it can either be this dark lovely red or if you blend it out it's this vibrant pink so it just gives me a few more options in the makeup front then on the top right hand side I have all my hair care stuff now I normally have two headbands this green one and then a black one which I'm currently wearing so you can't see it for the moment but these are the two headbands that I wear pretty much every day this was a brush that got given to me from a friend when I went to see her in the Virgin Islands and once I started using this brush I just never went back because it just didn't rip my hair out as much as everything else in here I've got a hair balm now I've already done a video all about this so you'll be able to find that on my channel and then this was an old mince tin that I painted so that I could have all my hairpins separated because I've got these little hair claws that I like to use and I used to keep them in the same tin and it was just a nightmare they'd all get tangled up so I wanted them in a separate thing you can see the bottom is still not painted but it's not the biggest problem in the world and to be honest I kind of like looking at it and realizing yeah I took a mince tin and made it look completely different so I think I'm just gonna leave it and this was a lovely little chocolates tin that I bought in Santiago when I did the Camino well, let me think four or five years ago I bought it because I love the tin and because it had chocolate in it and now it just holds all my hair bands I always have a set of matches in here because I always have a candle on my dressing table and then that just stays in there and then this is something which I don't know how well it's gonna work because it holds all the eye cards that I use as references for deciding what kind of makeup I want to wear but to be honest, I prefer this setup, which is where I keep all the eye cards for my makeup tutorials over on my other channel. It's just a nicer way to store them. So I might end up storing both the stuff that I use for the tutorials on the other channel and for every day in this eventually. I'm not sure. So for the moment, I use both. And then in here, even though I still need to decorate this, this is where I keep all my hair clips. I used to have these plastic ones, but eventually when they died, I found out you could get metal ones. And then I got the metal ones because these things are amazing. I have stepped on the old plastic ones so often, that's why they died. But the metal ones, if they get bent, you just bend them back. So they're fantastic. And then at the very back, I have this scarf from my abuela and I wear this one a lot I love this thing mainly for sentimental reasons but I find that I just on days where I just feel a little bit frumpy and just ugh, just tying this into my hair makes me feel a lot better so because of this I've ended up collecting more and more hair scarves I've got this blue one and then this one I love because it's got two sides it's got the white and black side and then the black and white side and what I can also do if I don't want to just use that is I can take one of my hair bands wrap it around the hair band knot it in the middle and then that way you don't have to worry about it falling off there's so many different ways that you can use this thing and then finally I've got this one which was a present from my mother-in-law for my birthday and it's just again a classic blue hair scarf and you can tie this on your handbag you can tie this around your hair you can tie it around a bun I love these things and I mainly use the one from my abuela and the black and white one but they all get used regularly and I love looking at them so they make me happy and then finally on the bottom right hand side I have my bits and bobs drawer now I've already done a video all about how we made this brush case over on my main channel so if you want to see that you can go ahead and have a look at that and then over here is where I keep all my nail care stuff so this is a hand cream really like this one it's such a nice texture it doesn't leave your skin just feeling all oily and sticky for ages afterwards it absorbs really nicely and then in here I've got just a simple 
beige dude nail varnish. I don't often use it on this nail because as some of you know I broke my thumb a few um, months ago and I completely lost this nail because it snapped off and it still hasn't quite recovered and looks very nasty and yucky. So I might just get a bright red or some dark color that I can paint over it eventually, but I like that nail varnish just because it strengthens my nails and it's just a nice neutral color. And that combined with this buffer, and I always have backups of this because it's fantastic. It's just a really nice combination if I want to quickly make my nails look a little bit nicer. And I have a little metal spatula. I've got, I don't know what these are called, um, kind of cuticle cutter. I only get the ones that um, I would get whenever I went to Spain to see family because I just found that they were much better quality. And then I have these two glass files again because they're just better quality than the little emery boards that you can get. Those things shred your nails up like something crazy. And the glass ones, while they aren't cheap, they're just it's a nice little bit of luxury. And that's for me, it's a little bit of uh, if I want to recharge, I just need a little bit of luxury like that. <laughs> I've also got these little perfumes and I love this set because I think it was $4.99 and it's just a nice way to test out all these different scents. I really didn't like Velvet Rose so that ended up getting used up as a house spray before it was eventually used up. The rest are okay. I'm not too fond of white coconut but the warm neroli and then the pink pepper one are oh they're really nice. All the other scents are so so nice and it just gives me a lot of options when it comes to perfumes. So I really like mini perfumes for exactly that reason. I have an old cuticle stick which I might eventually replace but for the moment there's nothing wrong with it so I'm going to keep using it and I've had it for years and then I've got a backup set of the false lashes that I like the most which are just these very thin wispy lashes and so those stay on the right hand side just as backup and then that's pretty much it that is the whole dressing table if you want to see individual videos on how I made this you can find it on the channel and I will have a new video for you soon if you want to see a Viking Gods themed series or even a Brother Grimm themed series, you can watch my videos ad free one to two weeks early and get all my digital creations for free on Contribi. I've set it up so that there's just one support level and then as soon as you're a contributor you get complete access to all my currently unlisted videos, those are always going to be ad free for you. And once I've reached the level of contributions needed to create a new album, new music videos, books, themed art series or anything like that, I'll be able to create all of these projects and give you the extra bonuses as soon as things like the final design of the Viking Gods or the Brother Grimm is finished, then I'll be sending a hand-signed deck of cards with those designs that I will send to each and every single person who's helped me reach that contribution level. So if you're a contributor, it doesn't matter if you joined when I only had 10 contributors or if I have 2,000 contributors. If you are a contributor, you will automatically be included in absolutely everything. There are no tiers, it's just contributors get everything. So if you want to know more about what projects I have planned and you want to help me reach those, you can find a thorough list on Contribute and I hope to see you there soon.